I'm Eric Ku, film director with uh, Zawei Films. I mean, I, I went to Australia, you know, to a film school, and um, I think what I really benefited, you know, being there was okay, first and foremost, meeting the Australians, which I really, really, I mean, they're, they're a fun lot. And I was just suddenly exposed to all these like art house cinemas, you know, which, you know, would have all these incredible like film retrospectives or filmmakers. I mean, as much as I, I was interested in, in film and all that, I had been limited being in Singapore to watch a lot of films. I mean, there was no Midnight Cowboy to watch. There was, you know, no Clockwork Orange. I mean, no Evil Dead. Everything was banned or, you know, butchered. It's only in Australia, you know, you could see all this. And I just kept on watching, watching and watching. And, um, of course, you know, I think, um, you know, if you want to direct films, you have to love cinema. You have to, to love the way, you know, different types of film are made, and um, that was really my film education. You know, hang out with the Australians, drink a lot of beer, watch a lot of movies, you know, <laughs> get a degree. I came back and then I had to go into the army, which in a way the army inspired me also, got more ideas in the head. Then I came out and I started working for a, a production house doing commercials. And I remember one of my first commercials was a McDonald's commercial with these guys in penguin suits jumping up and down. You know, I think now anyone could invest in a small little camcorder that maybe costs about a thousand bucks or so. With your laptop, you can start to edit. And if you watch enough films, and I think if you interact enough, you're going to be able to shoot something, you know, or at least a short film. And, and I tell a lot of these, you know, aspiring filmmakers, I mean, some of them come up to me and say, this is my script, I want to direct it. And I'll say, but have you done a short film? Have you done anything before? And it's like, no. Well, what's your excuse, right? Because you're only going to know once you start putting something together, whether you've got that ability. Well, definitely in Singapore, I'd say with uh, high definition, and, and it's, it's created a lot more uh, enthusiastic filmmakers to actually go out there and make something. Um, and, and, I, and I respect some of these filmmakers because really they go out there and they do something with very, very little money. And... Um, in that sense, there is a bit more, I would say, freedom of uh, personal films that you dare take that little risk of, of, of being a bit more direct because it's not a colossal budget. You know, with, with all this high definition and, and you know, technolog technological advancements, I, I think that would sort of, in a way, aid and, and let there be more filmmakers, you know. But of course, at the end also, I mean, if we talk about the quality and the content and all that, I mean, is it just going to be a lot of junk or what? It's debatable. But I would say definitely it is a better you know, environment to be able to give it a shot. I think the more filmmakers you have, the higher chances you're going to have of something standing up rather than if you're you know, sort of burdened with, 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 like I say, old technology, extreme budget, um, and, and there'll be you know, less uh, availability you know, for, for these young voices to, to, to make films. Okay, I mean, I think what would be great is if, you know, we could have a real breakout film, you know, um, a film that <laughs> could go out there and just r really make, you know, a, a big amount, um, maybe not as big as uh, Paranormal Activity, but just some, you know, really good commercial international success. I, I would like to see that. I would like to see us also, like, doing co-pros with maybe some of the bigger boys, you know, and, and ultimately to to watch the sort of films that you want to watch and be able to have that position and, you know, the ability to, to pull these things together. I mean, I look at Asian cinema and I'm a fanboy of, you know, filmmakers from the region as well. And I mean, I would love to be able to do something with them. But I think at this point, you know, though we've been around for like over a decade, we're still at a somewhat of an infancy stage. You know, be, to be honest, I mean, a lot of bread and butter is also from the commercials we make, the corporate videos, the government videos. You know, it, it's things that we do. But I would like to believe that we're still going to be around, but we'll be doing bigger films.